and welcome to today's model workshop. Um, today I'm just going to talk to you really quickly about washers and the importance of washers. So I'm painting a Soviet tanker at the moment and he's got this amazing quilted jacket. You can see it's got these beautiful, beautiful stripes up and down, you know, beautifully sculpted in. This is my reference. Let's try and get that nice and close and in focus. And you can see a master modeler has painted this and he's really picked out those beautiful stripes in that quilting. And mine, look, you know, it's not looking amazing. I've done a dry wash, uh, sorry, I've done a dry brushing of highlights. I've painted in some shadows, but really, those are not popping. So all I'm going to do is a quick wash. Basically, what I've done here is using the paints that I've used is for his main colour of his jacket, mixing in some black. So these are crappy old Humbrol paints. They're nothing at all special. Look at that manky old mixing palette there. So I've got my khaki kind of colour and my black. I'm just going to mix those together, thin them with some thinners and then do a really beautiful little wash. So let's go. So I'm just dipping my paintbrush in some thinners, mixing the two colours to get a tone that I'll be happy with that will stand out nicely. Not too dark, not too light, but just right. Get a bit more thinner in there. So with a wash you obviously want it to be very very thin. Um, you, know, you could try and dry brush, uh, sorry, you could try and brush this with a brush and you'd have to have such a steady hand, it would just be a nightmare to do. But here we've got our nice thin wash, gives you an idea of the colour, and let's just loop it in there and see what we get. So we're going to make that even thinner. You can see from that first little bit it didn't really flow into those cracks much, but now you can see it flowing up. I hope you can see it flowing up into those cracks. Let's get it in focus. Okay, let's try again. So you can actually see it flowing up into the grooves. And the beauty of this is that you don't have to have a steady, steady hand. You just have to glob it somewhere where it's fairly inconspicuous so that when it does go up, if you get a little blob of it left, um, it's not going to you know, stand out terribly. But yeah, look, that's so thin now that it's just flowing perfectly into those grooves. And now you can see those grooves just standing out so well compared to where we were. Um, so that's it. That's the importance of washers. Really, you can't go far wrong. You know, make it nice and thin. Be aware of what your previous coats are. If you start splashing around too much thinners on a previous coat, it's going to ruin it. Um, so you need to you know, move sensitively. But really, for the results you get, it's worth it. All right? Cheers, guys. I'm going to keep going. Um, check out my blog. Thanks for calling by. Today's model workshop .com, And see you next time. Thanks. One last thing I forgot to mention, you may end up with a slight glossy sheen to it. If that does happen, obviously you just give it a bit of a coat of dull coat of some kind, some kind of matte varnish. Um, but yeah, this is the completed effect, so those quilting really standing out. And I've actually gone through and highlighted just a few of the little wrinkles and things as well. It's much more effective now. So one final dry brush and then a little bit of a matte coat and we're done. Okay, this time I'm actually finished. See you guys.